In today's other news, it has been discovered that using Dettol wipes instead of baby wipes by accident is definitely not good for the gink. start the video this morning we're going for walkies aren't we daddy's getting his coat on oh, morning morning everyone All right, my lovers. what time is it dad uh quarter past six quarter past six so we're going to take these two excuse the mess in the hallway we're going to make take these two for a little walkies you ready look how handsome you look Where's Minky Moo? Where is she? Mum was adopting the normal walking position of being carried by Daddy. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. You look so pretty. Kiss, good girl. It's all right wearing a bit of lippy, even if you're a dog fairy. So, this morning, I head out to some areas where I can't get even like radio signal um, in the car and the radio, the DAB and the normal radio go off, or the DAB one, but, and the normal one. Um, so I'm going to, before I set off, I'm going to download another audio book. I've got Shantaram, The Invisible Man and some sort of big, hefty uh, audio books on there, but... I need something a little bit more light-hearted. They are two of Susie's favourite books that she read, I think, when she was travelling years ago. Uh, and Shantaram, it's based on a true story as well. Absolutely incredible book. But that's not for me today. I need some easy listening. So I like Ruth Jones, who does Gavin and Stacey. I've listened to all her books um, recently. So yeah, I'm just going to have a look and I'll tell you later what I downloaded and whether it's it's good or not. thought I'd stop off for a little snack and an iced coffee. What a beautiful day. Got a yummy quiche, ham and cheddar, I think she said. Yum, yum. Oh, yum, how nice does that look? And it's still warm, literally just cooked it. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Should we do a little taste test? That's what YouTubers do, isn't it? People on YouTube. Oh, that is so nice. Absolutely gorgeous. That's my brunch. I didn't have any breakfast and I won't have any lunch. So that's the combination of the two. I just realised how utterly dirty my car is. So I think I'm going to go, if I can, go to the hand car wash and get it um get it done
garden. Oh, it's so lovely and shiny. So shiny. Perfect. See myself in it. That's the car all washed. I'm mega happy with that. I couldn't see out the windscreen, it was that bad. So I'm going to go to into Asda now and get um, a few supplies for mine and Joe's trip away tomorrow to the little Hobbit cabins. I can't wait to show you that. It's such a lovely place. It's called Little Seed Field. And I, I'm going to go and pick Joe up tomorrow about 10-11. Um, in, Joe's in, in her wheelchair and I'll be driving her wheelchair vehicle. It's adapted for her to drive. But she'll go. She'll click into the passenger bit, move the driver's seat back in, and I and I drive when we go places most of the time to give her a, a break. So um, yeah, it's in the middle of nowhere. There's hardly any phone signal, <laughs> but I'll film it all. I might not be able to upload a video tomorrow um, if there's no signal, but I will once we're back. Susie's okay. Jason's with her. Um, I'm. You know, every time I leave her, I'm, I'm anxious that that I'm not with her. But she's told me to go and have a couple of days um, with Joe and completely switch off and not, not do anything. Um, you know, just be out in nature and, and enjoy it. So I'm going to nip into us to get some supplies and then nip home. <laughs> stay there just trying those protein pancakes that I got from Asda I couldn't work out whether they were going to be like savoury but they are like a scotch pancake they're like sweet but they've got all the seeds in protein pancakes it's it's really nice and I've laid out the things that I want to take with me to a little seed field tomorrow. The rest is in the fridge. I'm going to pack a suitcase and um, get ready for my little trip away. Ah, and our call box that we've had for ages but not used is now up and running so I can take this with me to little seed field. They do have a fridge in the communal bit um, away from like the hobbit cabin things that we're staying in but I thought we could take the cool box and then I don't have to keep ferrying up to the fridge and back but that looks pretty nifty 
We can put our milk and food and stuff in there. The anniversary balloon I got Ash uh, that was delivered too early. It's it's still up, but I was right. It's definitely not going to last till um, we go away on the first. <laughs> right, so I need to pack this case for Little Seed Field. It's got some bits in already. So toiletries, hairbrush, deodorant, wet wipes, some tissues. A little handbag, some vitamins, phone charger, tripod, uh, pillowcase. I've got three pairs of leggings, a jump, two jumpers, little nighty, but I'm gonna swap that up, I think, and take some different things to wear. They're the J Flex joggers. It's just so comfy. J Flex leggings. They're some work leggings. I like to be colourful out at work, as you all know. Uh, T-shirt, underwear, a little um, thermal long sleeve top, little Lenore sheet. Makes everything smell beautiful. Nighty. So yeah, I think they'll stay in because we're not going to be going anywhere when we go to the cabin. It's just a respite thing for me and Jo. Um, what are you doing, little man? You can't have Minky's biscuits, no. Good boy. So yeah, I think I'll swap out those jumpers for some other cosy things and I'll take my hoodie. Um, and that, that'll be me done. There we go. I mean, it does say it's going to rain, um, which isn't a problem. I see the beauty in every day now, no matter what the weather. I'm going to pack some face masks. I've got the food and things to go in the cool box downstairs. Uh, Laura, yeah, and even if it does rain, oh, just you wait and see how idyllic this place is that me and Joe are going to tomorrow. Um, it's... It's beautiful. I'm going to film it all for you. I don't, as I say, I don't know if I can get it up tomorrow in a video for you, but I will try my best. Uh, so again, thank you so much for watching. I will get on the phone to Susie now, make sure everything's okay with her. I've had quite a good day today. Um, I met two people that had also been ignored by doctors, um, and the guy that's doing our car and van services uh, next week um his friend was ignored as well for far too long had a little mark on his nose kept going back they ignored it and then he had to have half of his whole face removed because they didn't they just ignored him and said it wasn't anything to worry about um and another person as well that had cancer and was ignored so again it's just your reminder to listen to your bodies. If you know something's wrong, you tell them it's wrong. I, I, that, that was it. I spoke to another friend of ours the other day who went to his doctor with like a hernia. And his doctor said, "That's it's not hurting you. Um, and he went, no, it is, it is hurting me. And the doctor went, no, it's, it's, it's not hurting you. So, and he went, no, it's causing me pain. And the doctor it completely dismissed him. Um, and in, in the end, he got... He got really angry, my friend, and, and he told him what he thought of him and, and he had to walk out because the doctor was telling him that he that he wasn't in pain um, and that it wasn't hurting him. <sighs> baffles me, just baffles me. So, yeah, you're reminded to go and get your checks. If there's something wrong, you tell them and you don't stop until they listen because we're, we're going to try and stop it from happening to as many people as we possibly can and we are and you, you're all helping us do that. So yeah, tune in tomorrow for a very exciting little trip away. And I almost forgot the beautiful skylight starry night projector that Susie, one of our lovely subscribers, sent us. That's coming with us as well. That in the cabin will look absolutely magical.